This is Q&A with Prof. A, the Ibato Ke Dok Bato Medical Physiology Review Series for Students. The question thrown to us is, Prof. A, how does the kidney handle acids and bases? It handles them mainly by reabsorption of almost 99% of filtered bicarbonate by the proximal tubule or excretion of hydrogen ions in the collecting tubule and number three, ammonium and phosphate excretion to form new bicarbonate. How does the proximal tubule handle bicarbonate? Always remember the filtered bicarbonate interacts with the hydrogen ion in the tubules. Bicarbonate reabsorption is initiated by reaction of tubules between filtered bicarbonate and secreted hydrogen by tubular cells. Bicarbonate cannot enter the cell such that it has to be converted to carbon dioxide and water by carbonic anhydrase from carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide can easily diffuse inside the cell to form carbonic acid intracellularly, which will be broken down into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. But the bicarbonate will be reabsorbed in the basolateral membrane either by the sodium bicarbonate co-transport in the proximal tubule and the chloride bicarbonate exchanger in the other segments of the nephron. Active hydrogen secretion is primarily done in the distal nephron. Hydrogen secretion occurs in the apical side via your hydrogen ATPase pump and hydrogen potassium ATPase of the alpha intercalated cells. The process is similar in the proximal tubule, but the main difference is that hydrogen moves across the luminal membrane by active hydrogen pump instead of a counter-transport mechanism. The secretion of hydrogen by the late distal tubule accounts for only about 5% of the total hydrogen secreted. However, unlike the proximal tubule, the distal nephron can increase hydrogen concentration to as much as 900-fold in the collecting tubule. New bicarbonate comes from the handling of ammonia and utilization of titratable acids which is in the form of phosphate. Ammonium ion is synthesized from glutamine. Once inside the cell, glutamine dissociates to form two molecules of bicarbonate and two ammonium ion. Ammonium is secreted in the lumen in exchange with sodium, while bicarbonate is reabsorbed along with sodium in the basolateral side. This is new formed bicarbonate. In the collecting tubules, hydrogen is secreted where it combines with ammonia to form insoluble ammonium, which will be secreted in the form of soluble ammonium chloride. For each ammonium excreted, a new bicarbonate is generated. As long as there is excess bicarbonate in the tubular fluid, most of the secreted hydrogen combines with bicarbonate. However, once all the bicarbonate has been reabsorbed, any excess hydrogen can combine with phosphate. This defines titratable acidity, representing the hydrogen ion buffered by phosphate. The system here is not just a mere replacement of filtered bicarbonate, but represents a generation of new bicarbonate ion. Whenever a hydrogen secretion combines with a buffer other than bicarbonate, the net effect is addition of new bicarbonate. There are other systems involved in handling acids in the body. The bicarbonate system, which occurs immediately, and the respiratory system, which follows acutely. However, these two protective mechanisms do not remove excess acids. They just hold them off temporarily until the renal system will be able to permanently and effectively remove the excess hydrogen ions. For more high-yield concepts in renal physiology, don't forget to click the subscribe button.